Hello, today's video we have the following content. The verdict of Wang Yibo's infringement case against black fans was announced, and the defendant compensated 40,000 yuan for mental damage. The well-known artist Wang Yibo sued Zhu for infringement. The Waxi Binhu court ruled that the defendant Zhu had violated his reputation and ordered him to pay 40,000 yuan in compensation. On July 11, 2022, the defendant Zhu posted a derogatory statement involving the plaintiff Wang Yibo in his WeChat circle of friends, which was forwarded by the circle of friends, and was later screenshotted and forwarded to Weibo, Baidu and other online platforms, becoming hot topic. According to evidence provided by Wang Yibo, according to incomplete statistics, the repost has attracted more than 1 million followers on Baidu and has become a hot topic on Weibo, with more than 450,000 followers. Afterwards, Wang Yibo sued Zhu de Binhu Court, believing that he was suspected of reputation infringement, and required Zhu to apologize in the People's Court newspaper and in his circle of friends, and to compensate for the infringement losses. In this regard, Zhu argued during the trial that the content he posted on WeChat moments was to question Wang Yibo's professional ability as a judge. It was a legitimate comment to supervise and criticize public figures and did not infringe on Wang Yibo's right to reputation. The court held that no organization or individual may infringe the reputation rights of others by insulting or slandering. WeChat Moments is also a public communication platform. WeChat users are not allowed to post content in moments that infringes on the rights of others. The defendant's behavior of placing the derogatory name and Wang Yibo in a circle of friends in a contextual context does not constitute legitimate comments to supervise and criticize public figures. Zhu argued that his circle of friends was posted in groups with a visible range of 200 people, but the evidence he provided was insufficient to prove the specific settings of the circle of friends involved in the case. Later, the circle of friends was forwarded to a public network platform by others, causing a huge impact. The defendant should bear corresponding legal responsibility for his actions. At the same time, screenshots of Zhu's moments were forwarded in large numbers on multiple online platforms in the form of articles related to Weibo topics, with a high number of views and dissemination causing a huge negative impact on Wang Yibo, and Zhu should bear the responsibility for eliminating the impact. Wang Yibo's claim to require Zhu to delete his WeChat moments and apologize was well founded in law, and the court supported it. The court also supported the plaintiff's request for Zhu to apologize in the People's Court newspaper and in his WeChat moments. Regarding the amount of compensation, the court comprehensively considered the specific content of the moments involved, the number of forwards and the degree of influence and determined the mental damage compensation to be 40,000 yuan. In the end, the court ruled that the defendant Zhu immediately deleted the content related to Wang Yibo in the moments, and within seven days after the judgment came into effect, posted an apology statement at the top of the WeChat moments, published an apology statement in the People's Court newspaper, and compensated the plaintiff Wang Yibo for mental damage and comfort 40,000 yuan in damages and 30,000 yuan in legal fees. When interviewed, the judge handling the case said that cyberspace is not a place outside the law, so all internet users can express freely on the internet, they should also remain rational, objective, neutral, and truthful, adhere to the bottom line of law and morality, and jointly maintain normal work order. Wang Yibo filed legal action against defamation, and the court issued a major judgment. In July 2022, a shocking scene occurred on the social platform. A certain user Zhu Mao Mao posted extremely derogatory information about Wang Yibo in the circle of friends. This was not ordinary gossip, but a malicious rumor. I would like to ask, when the boundaries of freedom of speech in the circle of friends are arbitrarily crossed, how to measure the harm caused to public figures? This Zhu Mao Mao caused an uproar on the internet by tapping the keyboard lightly. His remarks spread quickly like a virus, and his influence was comparable to a snowball effect, and it was out of control. Imagine that when cyberspace is filled with unsubstantiated slanderous remarks, how should we define the degree of infringement on personal reputation rights? Unable to bear the groundless accusations in the whirlpool of public opinion, Wang Yibo decisively took legal measures and decided to launch a counter-attack against Zhu Mao Mao's rumor-mongering behavior. He firmly took Zhu Mao Mao to court and sought a fair ruling by law. So, in the face of online violence and rumors, what kind of judicial justice will be brought by using legal weapons to defend rights and interests? After rigorous court review and a fair trial, this controversy surrounding online rumors will finally usher in a just verdict. It makes people think, in an era of highly developed information technology, 
how to restrain and punish rumor mongering in the circle of friends and even the entire cyberspace through legal channels, so that the reputation rights of every citizen can be effectively protected.